Hello, Jess Hugo here, and today I'm taking a look at another LEGO Frozen 2 set, which is Olaf's Traveling Sleigh. This has 97 pieces, one mini doll, and retails for no price, actually, because it's only available at LEGO stores if you spend $50 or more on Frozen purchases in October, or sometime during October, for a little period of time. The Olaf minifigure also comes in the River Adventure set and the Treehouse set. It's still a really cool addition to the mini doll family. Or I think it's a lot better than the one they had, I think, introduced in 2014. There's mini doll-like arms, which you can move up and down. And of course, that could get onto a pole connection. An accessory spot in the middle there. The legs can fit onto two studs. And the head is actually the same piece, or at least I think it's the same piece they've been using since 2014. And that is on there using a minifigure neck on the body. So if you remove that, you could actually fit some funny minifigure heads on there. <laughs> and that gets really fun, and I did a whole video on cursed figures like this, so go check that out if you haven't. For the Olaf build, the design of the sleigh has a nice purple look to it, and the main sleigh part is just attached to this back part with a Christmas tree on it. The Christmas tree itself is a pretty standard Christmas tree build, though I do like some of the roundness they get with these sloped pieces, and that could be spun around on this 2x2 two two circular jumper. The actual main sleigh part does use some interesting pieces with the purple and with the spoiler parts here in white. I don't see that in too many sets in that coloring, so that's a nice piece to get in abundance here because you even get them with this back part as well, so a total of six in the set. Also, it's nice to see that new lantern piece at the front, which you could adjust up and down. The front of the sleigh also has an area for Olaf to sit. Then at the middle section, there's an area with skiing equipment. We got two skis there and then two poles. And then at the back, there's this present here. And the present has a bow tie on it inside, which is in purple. And I think this bow tie might be important in the movie or just Olaf's new outfit because I know the build in Olaf set has a bow tie as well. The present easily fits at the back once you're done with it. And this area right here, unfortunately, cannot fit a mini doll, but that's really it. For the build of the set, let's take a look at the packaging and the final verdict. Now, if only this $10-esque set was available on shelves, because it seems like the LEGO Disney line is pretty overpriced. As for the instructions at the back, there's an ad with other sets, and that's just something that's present in all these LEGO Frozen 2 sets. So overall, the Traveling Sleigh is a cute little introductory promo to the new world of LEGO Frozen 2. I do wish they went with some of the more autumn colors for the tree here, though, and I wish there was something a bit more exclusive, but it's not too big of a deal. And I do kind of wish that the threshold requirements for this one weren't so restrictive. Maybe if it was spend $100 on LEGO purchases of any theme, or if it was spent $50 on any mini doll based theme, so they could have said Friends, Frozen 2, or whatever. But I think if you narrow it down to only $50 purchases of LEGO Frozen sets, that gives a lot less options, since there's only one set over $50 in the main line, meaning you'll have to buy multiple sets, or just that one big $80 set. So I don't know. It's still kind of cool. I hope they release it in different promos maybe later on in the year, around Christmas time, but we'll have to wait and see. But that's it for now, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.